I'm Anthony Ocherik and I'm the principal at Dakota Adventist Academy. I'm in my second year here and you have come during Spirit Week. So today I'm trying my hardest to be a tourist. I'm trying a little bit of Hawaii and a little bit of Texas and a few other things. And uh, anyway, I was asked to tell you just a little bit about what I liked about the school. And I will tell you, when I came through here a couple years ago, I had actually decided to leave teaching and I stopped at the school walked through and I fell in love with the uh, combination of vocational programs and academic programming that we offer to students from all over the United States and actually from several other countries as well. We have a program where we have students building houses, they're building cars, they're building computers, and they're learning the traditional maths, sciences, and English. And on top of it all, we've even got a couple of college prep classes. I'm Gary Way and I've been teaching at Dakota Adventist Academy for 17 years. When you graduate from here, if you've had four years of art, you can get into an art academy with an art portfolio. We are the only Seventh-day Adventist school that has a four-year art program that focuses on studio art and prepares you for a career in visual arts. We've got a lot of things going on here that you might not expect in a smaller school. En la pared hay un espejo muy grande. Hi, this is Spanish One. My name is Shannon Brown and I am the Spanish teacher here. I also teach psychology and Bible. This is the first year that Spanish has been taught here at Dakota Adventist Academy. We've got everything under one roof, which is another part of the excitement of Dakota Adventist Academy. If you look just over my shoulder, you'll actually see that we've got the three different buildings that this school grew out of. This, this school is Dakota Adventist Academy, and it's a combination of two former schools, Cheyenne River Academy and Plainview Academy from South Dakota and North Dakota, and they were combined to create this school. Let me show you around. This is what we would consider a conventional math class. We have Algebra 1 being taught, and right now they're working on an assignment, and the teacher will be heading around the classroom in just a few seconds. But over on this side, we have a couple of students uh, working on either recovery credits or working on advanced math, so that way we can meet all the needs of all our students at the same time in the same classroom. Without donations, Adventist education in the Dakotas just wouldn't exist. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the gym floor. From 1978 until this past summer, this was a cement floor with cracks and lifts and all kinds of neat things. And we had a sizable donation come into the school. In fact, we have those almost every year from different individuals. And now we have this beautiful wood floor and a beautiful room. The, the facility has been completely refinished. And uh, it's something that our students and our, our constituents here are very proud of. One of my favorite stories is um, we got a phone call from a lady who was wondering if if uh, we had students that were possibly not going to graduate this year. And I said that those days are past. If a student finishes their work, they graduate. And she said, you know what I mean? I, I mean, is there anyone who's not going to get a diploma because you're holding them because they didn't pay for their bill? I said, well, we do have several of those. And uh, she asked how much money was owed. And, and it was just, it was a little over $20,000. And uh, I, I was intrigued because I'm, I'm not so young myself, but she said, you listen here, Sonny, you just put their diplomas in their envelopes and you make sure they get them and I'll have a check to you on Monday morning. And uh, she came through. The kids have the opportunity of having their horses here for the whole school year. Some take it home for the winter. I like to just go for a ride when I'm super stressed with school and homework and tests. So it's super nice just being able to go out and get stress-free. DAA is a great place to bring your horses. We have about seven horses here right now. It's a great stress relief having your horses here. This horse is Spartan. He's about seven years old. He's an Appaloosa. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. All right, there we go. <laughs> We're playing it. Good boy. We have construction one, construction two, and construction three, and they all do, they all do very different things. Um, the tiny house is a project of the construction three class, and uh, they'll start working on a house like that in construction two. Um, somewhere there are some wall panels that the construction one class has been doing. They've been putting electrical in, doing all the things they would need to get a wall to pass. This house is built way beyond the specs of what most Dakotans would be looking for in a tiny house. What they would like is they would like something that would serve as a fishing cabin. This one, however, has every convenience you could imagine. And uh, it's got air and heat, so you could go either way for winter or summer. 
This house has been pretty well built uh, with probably anything that you might want in it. We've got washer, dryer, fridge, stove. Uh, it's the kind of place that I think I could live. Oh, and look, here's the guy who helped the students build the house. Mr. Peterson is our, is our master shop teacher in both construction and in automotives. Mm -hmm. Mr. Peterson, would you like to tell us a little bit about the special things about this house? Um, it's built on a, uh, an 8.5 by 20 foot chassis. The, uh, it's 13 foot 3 inches tall to the peak. Um, the students and I all got together and we did a layout and design and um, everything uh, come together all right. We have the corner bathroom, which is, uh, is kind of cool. And it's got a, a regular toilet in it, corner toilet. I like the barn door slide. Yeah, that was something that uh, they definitely wanted. So we incorporated that with the round shower and, and the tile work. And they also wanted LED lights. So we got a little puck lights in there. We have two windows in there to get some flow through there as well. We wanted something round to go with the symmetrics of the bathroom. In the corner, we have a utility room. It's got an on-demand hot water heater. It's got all the electrical. It's got 36 gallons of uh, water tank if you uh, if you don't hook up to real water. Uh, we have a refrigerator here. It's got a good sized freezer on it. Four burner stove with a hood, a vent, a butcher block tops. All the kids, they basically did everything. They did the, uh, the undermount sink. Back underneath the, uh, the butcher block top, we have a washer and dryer combo. So you can, uh, you don't even have to pull it out after you wash. You just press some buttons and it starts to dry it. The house is for sale. $59.9 and uh, we can work out some kind of delivery and it will fund another one that we would like to build again. Hey, come on out to Dakota Avenue Academy. You're going to learn a lot of new skills, a lot of practical stuff. The motto of the whole robotics club is gracious professionalism, meaning everybody is working towards the same goal no matter what team you're on. This is so that it will be able to push objects around on the mat. Oh yeah, what did you do? It went really slow. <laughs> kind of. You missed. The person who's driving see. has to spend a lot of time with this. I'm so bad at driving this. I guess. Welcome to Dakota Avenue Academy's automotive shop. Um, in this facility, we uh, we do a number of things. Uh, that we have a lot of students that uh, work on vehicles, their own projects, and then of course projects that uh, we have for them. Right here, we have a Mustang that uh, needs a second gear. Second gear went out of it on the five speed, so the, a student's actually uh, rebuilding that. It's his Mustang. He also put headers on it and things like that. Um, we have two lifts, which is nice. Tire changer, balancer. Um, this Escape was donated to the school, and it was uh, it had a bad transmission, and uh, so the students are put a new reman transmission in it. We have all the tools um, in this facility to handle pretty much any repair that uh, that a major shop would have. So as, when you get out of the shop on your third year, you actually know your way around a, an active operating shop. So you can walk in as an apprentice and things like that. Hi, my name is Peter Keniston. I teach IT here at Dakota Adventist Academy. We are currently refurbishing computers for elementary schools across the Dakota Conference. Oh, and by the way, this year Dakota Adventist Academy received over $15,000 worth of video equipment such as this 4K camera. This allows us the ability to stream. Watch Dakota Adventist Academy's Facebook page for when we are live streaming. As you can see, we have some of the handbells and hand chimes. We play together with a group of students who are involved with technical handbells. Hello, my name is Isuli Keniston and I am the music teacher at Dakota Adventist Academy. One, two, three. Today, I would like to share with you some of the activities that we have in school, such as strings. And we have a group of about 13 students. We play from the timpani set through the tuba. Some of the activities that we do in different groups 
are going to the Union College Music Festival along with many other Adventist academies. When we go on the road, we have had the opportunity to visit different cities and regions in North, South Dakota, Kansas, and Nebraska. The students, staff, we feel the energy, we feel the vibrance and all the joy that these kids bring for God's honor and glory. And if you would like to come to Dakota Adventist Academy, come and use your talents for God. Bring your instrument, bring your voices, bring your talents to Dakota Adventist Academy.